Hello guys, welcome back. Here I am on Route 74, so it's time to have a look around. I feel like I'm going to get meet straight away by a trainer, so let's see what he's got to say. Here he comes, I'm ready for a real battle. Hopefully I can provide it, and hopefully I can win. Sailor Lionel wants to fight. Lionel. Oh no. <laughs> My best Pokemon are Larvita and Cyndaquil. Let's go for a dig. And then now we're fighting water Pokemon. Poison Sting, no chance. Hit him with a dig. No one shot. Yeah, hit him with a one shot. Nice, super effective there. Raw, he's got the whale man it. I think I'm just gonna go for the same tactic. Yeah, whale man looks interesting in this game. He's not he does look big though, he doesn't. Okay, I'm dodging. I'm dodging all these water attacks just like that. Another Oh I spoke too soon, I was like another one shot. This is gonna do damage, bro. Jeez. Hit him with the scratch. Whale man down. Low tad next. That's okay. Let's hit him with a mud slap. Let's hit him with something different. He might actually KO me. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm down. I should have just gone for the dig. I don't know what I'm thinking. Am I going to start this episode with a loss? Let's go for an ember. I know it's water type, but is it also grass type? I don't even know. Oof. Luckily he missed. Let's go for a quick attack this time. Hopefully... Oh! I'm just hoping this bubble doesn't kill me, man. Nah, no chance. Okay, hit him with a quick attack. Game over. Nice bit of XP coming my way. Lionel down. Rargrog! Money coming my way. Anyway, I'm just going to heal up. I'll be right back. Okay, all healed up now. I can't be bad to heal up so early on in the episode. Okay, there's one Don there. Let's see what he's got to say. I want to take a look at your Pokemon party. Okay, feel free, my friend. He's looking very cool. He's a psychic teller. You should know my party then. Anyway, he's got the Abra. This might be the first Abra I've seen in the game. I'm going to hit him with a rock throw. Okay, I don't know. He's trying to teleport away for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. But uh, he's down anyway. Nice little rock throw there. Let's see what's next. A Kadabra. A bit stronger. But I'm going to hit him again with a rock throw. Why do you keep teleporting? You're making it very easy for me, man. I don't even need to... Is this the only move they know? I should have just hit him with a scratch. Anyway, this, <laughs> this fight a lot easier than the last one. Oh, that's a nice chunk of XP. I'm now level 20. Will I evolve? Well, hey, finally, the long wait is over. Lavata's going to evolve to Puppita. Puppita. I don't know if this will... Yeah, and this is good. Hopefully he's a bit... he does a bit better now. Anyway, let's continue our journey. That guy is down. Whoa! I hope you can hear this music, it's very interesting. Anyway, it's now time to test Papata. How cute are your Pokemon? Show me, show me! Okay, I'll show you, I'll show you, man. Oh, it's a Pokefan. She's got a very cute Jigglypuff. Let's go, Papata. Let's hit him with the rock throw again. Oh, the first time using this Papata. It's not very effective. Oh, he's hit me with the rollout. Ah, not very effective. Let's hit him with a scratch then. Decent, decent. Soup. What? Scratch is super effective. Anyway, I'll take it. I don't mind losing, really. She just wants to see them cute Pokemons. Baby Pokemon are so adorable. Unfortunately, I don't have any. There's all these weird gaps in the grass for the trainers to stay. I thought there'd be a secret item there. Do I even know cut yet? I don't even know, man. I don't think so. 
Nah, I don't know. Cut. Anyway, let's fight this guy. Bold guy. Ha ha! Time to show off my Pikachu. Okay, let's see your Pikachu, my friend. Pokefan Spencer. This very cute Pikachu. I'm gonna hit him with a dig this time. Whoa, double team. Now there's loads of Pikachus. Hopefully I hit, I get him. Tail whip. Failed. Bam. Should be a one shot, because I think it's super effective. Yep. Critical, super effective. Give me the old XPs. Everything seems to be getting better now, since the first trainer. Money coming my way. I'm not the only Pikachu maniac in the Naujo region, but... Navhan has as, have as much passion as I do. Good for you, man. No way. It's the Power Ranger. I feel like this is going to be a difficult fight, man. Last time I had trouble, you know. Hey. Okay, Growlithe. It should be okay. I'm a bit nervous, man. I had so much trouble with these guys. Oh, and it's intimidated me already. Let's hit him with a dig first. Clear. You'll fail. Dig. Nice, uh, super effective there. Let's see what else he's got in, in store for me. Oh, a Goldeen. I don't want to fight any water Pokemon. And so I'm just going to hit him with a dig again. Supersonic failed. Die, please. Phew, at least uh, it didn't hit me. The scratch should KO it. Hey, it didn't, but he still wasn't hitting me with anything. Oi, you got the first move. No way. Oh, I hate being confused, man. Please, just kill it. Kill it. Thank goodness. Okay, Goldine down. I don't want to be confused. I hate being confused in this game, so I'm going to switch to the Quilava. Should be smooth sailing, man. The Eevee is stronger than my Quilava, so hopefully my Quilava doesn't die. Let's hit with the Ember. I do get first hit. Jeez, that's, that's not very strong, man. <laughs> well, it's to do a bit more damage. This rain keeps hailing down. Anyway, he's only hit me with the sand attack, so. It's just getting weaker and weaker. The rain continues to fall. Eevee hasn't done any damage on me yet. I'm going to switch it up and hit him with a quick attack, which I'm going to miss. The Eevee just keeps strengthening itself up. Like it's planning to just kill me in one shot. The sand attack again. I'm just going to keep quick attacking, man. As long as it doesn't hit me, I think I'm all good. I'm going to hit him with the Ember again. Hopefully it burns or criticals or something. Oof. Okay, it should be down now. Nope. He's finally hit me. Jeez. I knew he was going to do some big hit. I thought I'd die there, but... Eevee is down. I managed to defeat it. Quilava's trying to learn Foresight. I'm not interested. Yes. My palette red is defeated. What is it with everyone? Once I was one of the greatest trainers in the world. I doubt that. I was beaten by a mere child? No matter, I have the big plans that will make everything in the Naojo right again you got lucky this time but i'll be back count on it jeez i don't like this guy man I don't <laughs> I don't, he doesn't like me either just make everything in the world right and surrender anyway i'm gonna heal up again and i'll be really right back okay so i'm all healed up um now i'm gonna check what's up here if anything the heath village is that way anyway there doesn't seem much here just a pokeball of some sort I found Sweet Scent TM, so that's interesting. Put that into my pocket and let's continue our journey. The red pallet has disappeared. Anyway, hey, I need to talk to you. Please keep quiet about me ignoring that battle. <laughs> huh? Why? I didn't stop Mr. Spandex that you fought. 
He yelled at me when I called his outfit spandex. My hurt feelings made me decide to take a break. If you keep quiet, I'll give you this nifty HM. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Whatever, man. That's cut. So I've received cuts. <laughs> uh, that's great. Let's see, I'm going to teach it to someone. Who will take cut? Only Kulava knows that it feels like a waste to me to where they sit on Kulava. Anyway. Here I am at the Heath Village, whatever that is. Anyway, is this. That was a very small route. Anyway, I'll search around here next time. I, think, I guess that's the end of Route 74. I'm going to look around Heath Village in the next episode. That was quite a quick route. Well, I guess I can cut and go that way, but I'll say that for the next episode. What I'm going to do now is just do a bit of poke hunting. See what's around. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing this episode, so feel free to leave if you want. But let's see what they have on Route 74. Mareep. Very uninteresting. I've seen plenty of them before. I'll maybe check five, five, six Pokemon. See if I can find anything interesting here. A Baneri. Very cute. I might have to get me one of those. Hopefully I don't one-shot it. A very nice Baneri. Pound. Nah, no chance, mate. So basically I healed up for no reason. Well, assuming there's a Poke Center in the Heath Village. Anyway, let's try my uh, luck at catching this. One, two, three. Yep. Baneri is mine. Getting a bit of XP. Baneri added to the Pokedex. You can tell how it feels by the way it rolls it ears when it's scared both ears are rolled up but like I couldn't read there for a second anyway Bunnery down let's see what else I can find if anything Taylor do I have one I think oh yeah I do I've seen it before I thought so okay that's three three world encounters down probably do six I think I said five on the previous episodes but <laughs> I don't know I'm feeling six today Taylo again, Tylo, Taylo. How do you guys say it? Taylo. Four. Let's check this side. See if it'll give me some luck. No, yes, yes. Taylo again. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm bored of Fruit 73 or Wild Pokemon now. Okay, last one, last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. It's very easy to get HMO1, by the way. But I'm not. I'm not complaining. Okay, Mary, a bit boring now. The spawns. So that's. I guess it. That's it for this episode. I'll just uh, end it in Heath Village. I'm very happy to have retrieved HMO one, and I caught a cute Buneary. So I'm just going to save it now. And then see the game. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you later.